Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a video move using the hardware controls and with the iOS app. So if we look at the hardware controls, we have another video that describes all the different features and ports and controls, but you have two different joysticks. I won't go into too much detail here, but your main joystick controls your pan and your tilt, and the joystick on the front of the unit controls your focus and your linear movement. So if I wanna create a video move, I'm gonna go in the main menu, click on video. My unit is already calibrated, so I don't need to do that. That will happen automatically for you. We operate this system based on keyframes and it's asking me to set keyframe number one. So I'm gonna use the controls and I'm gonna point over here at this light. My focus is a little off. That looks about right. So I'm gonna click in on the joystick to set my keyframe. Now I can set my other keyframe. I'm gonna move over on the slider to the other end. And let's go over here. Shoot the, the other light. Just so you guys can see, I'll change the tilt a little bit so you can see that in the move. Now I'm greeted with an option for duration which 20 seconds is a little long. I'm gonna go down to say 12 seconds. I'm not looping this move, I'm not shooting an interview, so I'll leave that off. And I'll just click on start move. It's gonna to move to start as quickly as possible. And when I'm ready to go, I can click in one more time to start my move. And that's as simple as video moves are. Right now we have two point moves. We are planning to adding more points. We'll move up to three and then up to five eventually, hopefully. Please watch out on our social media channels and our feature request page to check the status of those features. So after my move is done, I can choose to edit it. So I can choose either my first or my second keyframe. I'll go back to my first keyframe. Let's say I didn't like my framing that much. It's gonna move me back there. And then I can edit my keyframe without having to redo my complete move. I'll save that. I think I'm happy with my second one, so I'll back out. Duration's still good. I'll start my move. And again, I'm ready to go. That's how simple it is to use the dual joysticks in the Arc2 hardware to set up a video move. Let's check out the app next. You can also set up a video move using the app. Let me show you how that works. I'm gonna to connect to my unit called Rhino. Click on video mode. Now, instead of having two different joysticks to set up your four axes, we have three track pads on the app. The first is for pan and tilt. So I can move it left and right, and I can move it up and down to control my pan and my tilt motion. I also have the slider on the bottom that I can move left and right. That's gonna move my slider around. And I also have focus, which is gonna control my focus. So to start out here, I am gonna add a keyframe. So click the button that says add keyframe. Now it's asking me to adjust my camera's position. I think this is a decent starting position. So I'll click the check button. I'm gonna move over to the other end of the slider. Let's say I wanna pan my camera left, adjust my focus a little bit. Click add another keyframe. I think this looks pretty good. I'll click okay. Again, 20 seconds is a bit long for me. So I'm gonna go down to 12 seconds, press start, and it's gonna move to my start position. As soon as it gets to the start position, it's gonna say ready to start. I'll click start and my move is in progress. It's as simple as that. Now, anytime my move is running, I can choose to pause it if needed, clicking on the pause button. Then I can also resume it by clicking on the play button. But if I outright don't like my move and just wanna stop it, I can press stop. And then I can edit my keyframes if I want to. So you can click on a keyframe, it'll automatically move there. You can adjust the keyframe. Let's say I wanna pan a little bit more left, click the check button move to keyframe number two, do the same thing and edit my move until I like it. Now, one feature that you have in this mode is called loop and we've had that on. 
it's just gonna loop your move indefinitely. So if you wanna capture the same shot over and over, say you're shooting an interview, it's perfect for that. Reframe is currently not available. That will actually adjust all of your keyframes in case your subject changes position during an interview. We'll have that, that out within a few weeks of posting this video. Hope this video was helpful for you to show you how to set up a video move using the hardware and using the app. If you have any questions at all, please watch the rest of our videos or reach out to support at rhinocg.com.